Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a Foundation Friday and I am super excited because we're here to talk Trini London. Now I assume you know who Trini is and if not, she shot to fame in the UK in the early 2000s with a fashion program called What Not To Wear. And let me tell you, she's a hoot. She's bubbly, she's vivacious, and she moves very quickly. Therefore, it is no surprise that she came up with a makeup line that's supposed to be super fast, super easy, and super flattering. So I started using Trini Trini London in 2021 when she had a couple of hybrid products. They weren't exactly skincare and they weren't exactly makeup and they were exactly what I like to use on my skin. But since then she's developed a full makeup range and in fact she's also developed a full skincare range but that's not what today's video is about. And by the way, if you'd like to see a review of that, let me know. Today's video is all about the makeup and I'm going to do a full face with nothing but Trini. So let me start by saying this is not a sponsored video. They have not gifted me anything. They have no idea who I am. So I have purchased most of these, although a few of them were loaned to me by my friend Moira. So thank you, Moira. So today I'll be using complexion products as well as things for eyes, cheeks and lips. So personally, I really struggle with purchasing colors online. Now, I live in a little island, <laughs> this is in Ireland, where we don't have the selection of a lot of stuff where you can just walk in and try things on and Trini would be one of those examples. So everything I have to do, I have to buy online. Now they do have something called Match to Me and it's an online tool that allows you to identify which colors are gonna suit you best based on your perceived skin tone. So it'll ask you a few questions about what skin tone you best match, and then it gives you the opportunity to just see the results for colors that match that skin tone. Now, sometimes I listen to them and sometimes I don't. <laughs> And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So right now I have nothing on my face. I have been lotioned and potioned. I have done all my skincare as well as my SPF. I will always do an SPF before any kind of makeup. Now we are starting off with the only product out of everything here that I've already used and I already love. This is called the BFF cream and this is sort of a pre-foundation product. They call it their skin perfecter. I call it the skin blurrer. This is what I refer to as a holy grail product. I have purchased this thing so many times. It is always in my bathroom, just always, always, always. I never don't have it. This comes in five shades. Right now, because it's winter, I'm in a light to medium, and during the summer, I'm in a full medium. Okay, so I need to put my hair up before I get started, and if you know me, you know my fringe are relatively new, and while I absolutely love them, they do get in the way when I'm trying to do some things. And I can't pin them because if I pin them down, they're gonna go wonky and it's just a big old fat mask. So this is what I do to keep them off my face. So if you have a better idea, let me know. So this is a very unusual little product in that it comes out white. I think I use it usually about two pumps. It comes out white and then it starts to just sink in and adjust. It doesn't actually adjust, it just starts to sink in. And what I find, oh my gosh, the scent on this is so wonderful. I love this product. I just love everything about this product. Um, and what it does is it just blurs everything a little bit. Now there are often times when I wear nothing except this because it just gives a little bit of a sheen and it just seems to hide imperfections in a very subtle way. I'm actually not a huge makeup wearer. I'm just not. Um, I, I sort of see makeup as a necessary evil um, and I don't like to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, I really don't. I just like things to, to do their job, to do it quickly and let me get on with my life. I will spend all day long on skincare and playing with my lotions and potions and my devices, but when it comes to makeup, I want it to be quick. And that's why I love the idea of Trini London because all of her products are designed to be put on quickly and put on easily. You know, you don't need a lot of fancy brushes. I know that they offer some, I don't have any, but look at this. Look at the finish on that. Like that's beautiful. And that's not even makeup. This is one of these hybrid products, right? That has really good skin loving ingredients, but it leaves just this nice little, it's like a veil. So oftentimes during the summer, I don't wear anything else but this. And even other days when I don't wear makeup, this is just a lovely thing to put on. I mean, I love it. The difference is oh so subtle, but it's just a bit perfect in my view. Okay, so that's one that I already know I love. I've repurchased it over and over and I will continue to do so. Sorry guys, my lips are looking a little dead I, and I know that. So I'm just putting a little Vaseline on it because they're feeling a little dry. There we go, that doesn't actually look any better. 
we're coming to lips. That's okay. So one other thing about this one is it does have an SPF 30. Now, I never rely on that. I can't say never. Occasionally, I will wear this and nothing else, but only if I make sure to put enough on to give myself the adequate SPF coverage. So it does have a 30 in it. I prefer to use a 50 every day. And even though I'm using this, I will already have put my SPF on just something to note. So next up is the foundation and this is called the BFF All Day. So what they say, lightweight yet long wearing BFF All Day is a secret to coverage without cake. Cakiness to me is the devil. Like the thought of having something that's really heavy on my skin just really is not something I'm going for. It would make me very, very sad. So the idea of something lightweight, which just gives a little bit of color correction is what I'm going for. So this comes in 18 shades and the shade that they told me to use is called Kelts, K-E-L-Z. They say this has buildable to medium coverage with a natural matte finish that lasts all day. Matt's not my favorite, not gonna lie. I like dewy, glowy stuff, and they have another product called the De-Stress Serum that I love, and it would be another one of my holy grails, but I suspect this is gonna have more coverage, and I just wanted to try it, because I've tried the other one. And in fact, I've done a video about that, which I'll put down below and put a card here if you wanna check it out. But I wanted to try this. A lot of people are asking about it. A lot of people are talking about it, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my hand, okay? And then I'm gonna use a brush because that's what I always do. I really don't like it and stuff on my hands. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that is really quite nice. Definitely more coverage. That doesn't feel too matte to me. Holy Toledo Batman, this is lovely. I am not a heavy makeup wearer, guys. And if you come to this channel, you know this. It is not my favorite thing in the world. And getting something that feels right on the skin, that leaves the right amount of coverage, that doesn't feel cakey, and doesn't feel drying. Because drying to me is the devil. When you have mature skin that's already dry and dehydrated on its own, that's the last thing it needs. Something that's gonna settle into those fine lines and wrinkles, because I'm sorry, but we have them. Now, I think I've been a little too heavy handed. I think this could be very much sheared out. And you know what? That's not as mad as I was expecting. I see what looks to be a bit of a glow there. I see a glow. Do you see a glow? Gary, do you see a glow? I see a glow. Do you see, do you see a glow? Are you participating? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Yay. Um, I am very pleasantly surprised. I can see how this would be buildable. Look how much I've used. I mean, not a lot, guys. Not a lot. And I think I could have used a lot less and gotten a very, very nice result. Okay. Number one is a winner. Number one is a winner. I guess this is number two. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Trini, you have done it again, my darling. So coverage for me, I always identify, I think I've got a hair there. I always identify by my age spots. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So I have one here and I have one here and you can barely see them. Now I can feel that there's a little heavier coverage than I would want. That would be a user error. I think I can use a lot less and it feels nice. This does not feel matte to me. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That doesn't feel matte to me. But I think it's pretty. Oh my God, I'm so wearing this again. Are you kidding? Gosh. Love it. So I would say less than half a pump would do. A quarter of a pump would probably do. Not that you can get a quarter of a pump out. And look at the size of this container. Oh, I'm gonna get so much use out of this. I am digging it. So far, we are two for two. So next up is the concealer. Now this is called the BFF Eye Serum Concealer. And what they say, it's, it's a bright eyed boost of powerful, clever under eye coverage that visibly improves dark circles. It comes in 12 shades. Mine is in Rihanna. By the way, that is not the color they suggested, but it's the color I used before, which I was very happy with. So I went ahead and repurchased it. Um, what is nice is that the format of this has changed. This used to come in one of these little pots, right? But anything in a pot requires fingers. 
which I also don't really like. So you kind of had to dig it out or stick your brush in, which I don't think is very hygienic. So neither of those were preferable to me. So they came out with this new applicator. It has a doe foot to it. Oh, it's just so nice. We are just going to put a little bit of that. No, we're not. Oh, we did. I should have put that on my finger. <laughs> I should not have put it straight on. It's not very hygienic, but I already did it. So I will clean it later. And then I'm just going to pat that in and see how it goes. Okay, what is so nice about this? It is super hydrating. This is very lightweight. This is very lightweight. Because recently I talked about a concealer I got from RMS Beauty that I adore. But this has a much nicer texture to it. It's like a serum. Actually, that's what it says in the name. And I get it. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm going to put a little bit more of that on. Just because I like the way that it feels. That is gorgeous. And can you see the difference? Love it, love it. And now we're going to put a little bit on the other side. I took too much. And just dab it on. And here's the other thing. My skin around my eyes is so damaged and so dry. I was testing out a beauty device and it went wrong. So I am constantly applying hydrating products specifically to this area. And one of those things has actually been oils. I have been dousing my eyes in oils for morning and night in order to rehydrate. And this has that same kind of feel to it, which is deliciously hydrating. Yeah. Now, I don't know what kind of longevity you'd get with it because it feels so serum-y, but it's starting off nice. I just think that looks great. Yep. So guys, we are three for three. We are looking very Mary-like as far as I'm concerned. This might not be enough coverage for some people, but for me, this is all just looking glowy and it's looking hydrated and just the touch of cover that I'm looking for. This is so good. Okay, next we're gonna do contour. I don't really do contour a lot, guys. Um, mostly because I can't be bothered. I don't like to take that much time in order to get ready <laughs> myself. And I never think about it. So let's see how this goes, because this may be the thing that changes my mind. This product is called Cheekbones. And they say, Cheekbones is contour made easy. It comes in three shades, and I'm using the shade Serena. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know how to contour. I mean, I've taken makeup classes, but I don't feel comfortable doing it. And I think that's probably why I never use it, because I don't really feel comfortable doing it. But they had a little tutorial on the website, so I'm doing exactly what the Trini London makeup artist said to do. So first thing is just get a little bit of it on your finger. It's very, very pigmented. Now they said to come up here and feel for your cheek and then start up at the, at the ear and then just give it a little swipe. Okay. And then she said to use the fatty part right here of our, of our hand and just put your hands in here and go up and go up ever so slightly. Oh, this looks pretty good. Does it? It's just a tiny bit of a shadow. I wonder if I could have come down a little bit lower, but not too low. Can you see that? Ah. Let's do the other side feel the cheekbone because I don't actually know where my cheekbones are and starting here and just give it a rub down like that's really not heavy right super subtle which is all I would be interested in anyway okay can you see a difference it does look a little ashy though but I guess that's what a shadow is supposed to be a shadow hmm. I don't know I'm probably doing something wrong Seems that it took off some of the makeup. At any rate, we're giving it a go. Not sure about that one. Not sure. I'm sure there are other people that are far more experienced and capable that would know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like it's a little dead, but anyway, maybe that's how it's supposed to look. Not sure. 
So let's see if we can go on with a little bit of blush in order to maybe brighten things up a little bit. So this is called the Lip to Cheek product, which is designed to be used both, of course, on lip and cheek. They say it's the multitasking lip and cheek hero. I know that Trini likes to match those two things to each other just for consistency and to brighten up or darken or change the color or whatever. This comes in 11 shades and I'm using this shade Sharon, which is S-H-E-R-I-N. This is what it looks like. It looks a bit dark. I'm actually going to start with it on my lips. Let's start there and see how that looks. I mean, while we're here, right? It's quite a nice color, actually. I would say that's a merry color. Would you say it's a merry color, Gary? I think that's a merry color. It is a merry color. And I think if I used a lip liner, which I do not have here, and you know, I would only do if I'm going out out, like I wouldn't use in a regular day, but this I would absolutely use. I think it's gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little brush and I am going to put this here. And I think that looks lovely. It looks natural. Looks like I'm a little flushed. I actually thought this was going to be too dark. I truly thought that this was going to be too dark. And I don't think that it is. I think it's buildable and I think that I could very easily... It looks natural. I could easily add a bit more if you need to. It's kind of funny when I get flushed or if my cheeks are a little too red. This is the color. So isn't that funny? Yeah, I think that is pretty. Yep. I like it. I dig it. Now, I think because I'm on camera, I'm going to load it up a little bit more because it's always when I go back after Gary's edited it and I'm reviewing it just to make sure everything's okay when I go, gosh, I wish I had more blush on. So I think I need more makeup in general when I'm filming than in reality. So I'm going to layer it up a little bit. And you know what? I've also made a change to the way that I'm using blush and my placement. For the past couple of years, I've been sort of doing it here but I did watch a video by somebody, don't remember who on YouTube, and talking about how we really need to address this area. So it's not the apples of the cheeks, it's up a little bit higher. It's kind of where the sun's gonna hit you. So if I were to sunburn, which I would never do because I wear so much sunscreen, then this is really where that would happen. I think that looks great. What do you think? Okay, so next up we are looking at the eyes and the eye product here is called Eye to Eye. Now they say, now I'm using something called Two Tones and what that means is that they have two of the different eye products that are put together into one little container. But they only offer, I think, four different combos. Um, but they have singles of their eye to eye products as well, and they have many of them. The two tone that I purchased is called Mystery and Dawn. Now I think I've purchased the wrong one. <laughs> Because when I got this and I looked at the color, I thought, oh my gosh, that looks a bit cool. Because when I saw the website and the people that they show wearing the product, I thought it was a lot warmer and I actually thought it was a lot lighter. So I have no idea how this is going to go because this these look really dark for me as well. I don't do a lot of dark colors. I do like a bit of shimmer. So these do have shimmer in them. So let's just see how it goes. So one of the things I found so appealing about Trini's approach to this, particularly with eyeshadow, is you don't even need to use any brushes. This is Use your finger, dab it on, and go, because that is exactly what I do most days if I'm wearing it. So I'm going to go in with this color here first. And what she says to do is get it on the ring finger and then literally just press it into the eye. Oh, this is much prettier than I thought it was going to be. And then just press it in. Okay, it's not nearly as heavy as I thought it was going to be. That's interesting. Okay, that's good. Doesn't mean I got the right color. But so you just press it in and then she said, take another, the other finger and just kind of smoosh it around. Right. I do think it's a bit cool for me. I'm definitely warmer toned. So it doesn't really seem to pick up that much, does it? Yeah, I think this is too cool a color for me. Okay. It's kind of pretty though. So I'm going to do that on both eyes. Just kind of smash it in. It feels nice. It feels, um, it's almost serum-y in that it feels hydrating. It doesn't feel drying. Um, but I feel like it's sticking to my fingers and it's not really going to my eyes. I just got underneath my eyes. 
See, I am no pro at this. Um, I feel like it's not coming <laughs> off my finger and onto my eye very well. It seems to be settling in the crease, but it's not really laying down on the lid. So I feel like I'm not really getting the coverage that I want. I mean, I like the way that it feels, like it's nice and juicy, but I don't feel like it's laying down the pigment properly. Um, and then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my other finger, my forefinger, because usually I take my shimmer and I would do this on the top of it and just lay down my shimmer, although the base one is, was shimmery too, which I kind of never do. I don't know. I don't think this is working, guys. This is not working for me anyway, because I feel like it's just, it's stuck on my fingers. Yeah. And do you see what I mean? Like, I, I feel like you can see my eyelid coming through the product. Like I've applied a lot of product to my eyes and I've applied two different colors, but I feel like there's nothing there that you can still see mostly skin. Mostly skin? Well, what I mean is that you're not seeing, like the color should be sitting on top of my skin so you don't see my skin coming through, right? But I feel like, almost like it's rubbed off. Like it's the, there's a lot more of that product sitting on my fingers than there's actually seeing skit sitting on my eyes. I'm seeing color. Well, no, it's not saying the color isn't there. <laughs> Are we having a debate? Are we having a debate on my video? Um, of course you can see the color. I can see more of my skin tone coming through than I should. If this was opaque, you would see nothing but color, but I can see my skin, my okay. skin tone. That's okay. okay. I don't expect Harry to get this. That's okay. Bless him for trying. <laughs> <laughs> I keep quiet now. No, no, I know, you're entitled. It's pretty, like don't get me wrong. Like it's pretty, but it's not opaque enough for me. It's not what I think that the eyeshadow should be doing. Okay, so overall, like looking at it as th through Gary's eyes, it actually looks great, it looks fine, um, but in my opinion, it just needs to be more opaque and it needs to have more of a payoff. So the other thing I wanted to try was using another one of these colors as an eyeliner. Now this is a really dark brown, also quite shimmery, called Empress, but knowing now what I know about this formulation, I don't have high hopes that that's actually gonna have a lot of payoff. I also don't think this color is gonna match very well because I think that the eyeshadows are a lot cooler than I anticipated, and this is a much warmer color, which originally I thought was gonna be way too dark for my eyes, and now I'm thinking it might have actually been good. And I probably should have tried that instead of my eye-to-eye -eye two-tone situation. Yeah, that's not really working. No. I think it's just, I don't know, too hydrating, too loosey-goosey, and just not pigmented enough. Oh well, you gotta try it, right? You can see a tiny bit, but not enough, and I know it's not gonna last. I can just tell the formulation is so juicy that that's just not gonna last. Can't win them all. Okay, so next up for the eyes is a dual product. This is called the Lash to Brow, and they say it's a dual-ended mascara and tinted brow gel. It's the Power Duo. I'm gonna start with the mascara, right? This is what the spoolie looks like. It's quite long, it actually looks quite good. I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I wanna see how well this does. For me, I have learned the key to mascara is go slow. So go very slowly. Actually, I think that's quite nice funny faces when we do our eyelashes. I do not know. Okay, I think that's quite nice. Lengthening. Yeah, I like that. Can see the difference? I probably should have started with the lower lashes, but anyway. I like it because it's narrow. I just think it's kind of easy to get into all of those. I'll start that over here. go back in again just to get a little bit more you may hear the rain outside this is Ireland that is not a big surprise except that we have to go out in it tonight the cold and the wet that is winter you can really get the little hairs with this spoolie I have to say that's that's quite nice it's not bad yeah that's nice 
Can you see all the creasing happening here with the eyeshadow? Hmm. Okay, and then the other side we're going in with is, the other is for the brow. By the way, this is in color latte, and that is what that little guy looks like. Now, this is a, this is a fiber gel, so I believe that that means it's gonna put some fibers into the hairs. Now, I don't generally do my brows at all because I had the microblading done, but I realized I probably need to because I can see there's a little hole, there's a gap where my hair doesn't grow. So what is the likelihood of me using this product again? Not great. Well, we'll see at the end when we do a little comparison between the befores and afters and see if maybe I decide I need to. Do you guys use a brow gel? I think the color is right anyway, I think. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the lips. Now I already applied the lip to cheek color, which I think the color is lovely but it's not as moisturizing as I would like. So I do have a couple of other products. Okay, I have two products that I'm gonna try and I don't know which one I'm gonna like. This is called Lip Glow. And what they say about Lip Glow is that it's a super hydrating and glossy, never sticky, sheer buildable tint that creates a fresh look that lasts. This is in the color Bella. It comes in eight shades. And it's kind of a coral color, which in general does work for me. So my understanding is this is more of a glossy thing and not so much a color. Let's see. Ooh. It's kind of a watermelon taste to it, which is quite nice. Definitely hydrating. And I suspect, however, if I didn't have lip color on that you mightn't be able to see it. I think that's lovely. Fine. Hard to see, probably should have done it on its own. <laughs> Live and learn. <laughs> but it feels really nice on the lips. I think that's nice. So I think those two colors go very well together. And then there's one last product here. I just realized I didn't buy a highlighter. I wish I had, totally forgot. But this is what they call the finishing product. They call it face finish. Now, Trini doesn't have any traditional powders. I think this is what you use instead of that. So if you need to mattify your look, this is the product that you would use. And it comes in one of these pots as well. So it says it's a mattifying balm that gives a flawless finish fast without the residue that you get from powder, which is great because powder can be drying for mature skin. So they say gently tap it to use as a primer before your base. So I guess if you have really oily skin, which I do not, or tap it onto your skin after you finished your makeup as a mattifying finishing touch. Okay, I might just try it around the nose because I can't, oh, it's a very interesting texture. It feels like a powder but not, like it feels like a cream, but then it feels like a powder. It's very hard to explain. So I'm gonna try a little bit here just to see if some of these pores kind of, I feel I'm a little shiny here. I'm a little heavier on the foundation here than I would generally be. Can you see the difference there? I think that worked, that I'm not as shiny. I think that the pores have reduced. Oh yeah, that's very interesting. Watch the shine disappear. Let's see, I think she has a product called Miracle Blur that does the same thing, I think. I'm not sure that what she used to. I don't know if she still does. Then I'll try a little bit here on the chin. Yeah, so that definitely worked. Did you see that, Gary? I did work. <laughs> <laughs> I really just think he thinks I'm bonkers and he's like, what is she talking about? Yeah, no, that definitely worked. You know, I don't know how great these products are gonna be for people with oily skin. I'm not gonna lie because I think these are made for mature skin. That's just me. I'm gonna take this out now. Give it a second to relax. So guys, that's it. That is a full face of Trini London makeup. Now I tried quite a few products here today. Hands down, there are some winners. And for me, the winners are in the complexion. I love the BFF cream, which is that skin perfector. Mwah, I absolutely adore it. The foundation is brilliant. I love it and I know that I'm going to be wearing that time and time again. I am going to shear it out. I'm going to use a lot less of the product, which means that this tube is going to last me forever. So that was a really nice surprise. And I really like the concealer. Um, again, I don't know about longevity or whatnot, but I think it looks great. It feels great. My skin is super hydrated. That is fabulous. Now, the blushes are great. Contour, meh. 
not really sure. You tell me if you think it looks good, if you can even see it, I don't know. Um, the eyeshadows for me, not so much. Um, I feel that I just don't get the payoff, that I don't have enough color saturation, they're not opaque enough, they feel wonderful, but they are mostly on my fingers, so that really wasn't a winner for me. But all in all, I love the look of this. I think it looks fantastic. What do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts, and I'd love to know if you have tried any of the Trini London products. I love her. I think she's amazing. I follow her. I watch her constantly. I think that she knows what women want, and for somebody at my age, she seemed to really tap into the needs of a gal who just needs to look good, a gal who wants to feel good about herself, but get out the door super, super fast. The other thing I forgot to mention that is so great about these is these all click together. These are called the stack. So each one of these little guys is designed, if you are a gal who likes to take these with you on the go, I personally am not. I don't really retouch makeup ever. But if you did, these little guys can come with you in your bag. And even for the products that don't come in the pot, like these two, usually when you purchase, you get a free pot. So you could just squeeze it off into there and add it to your stack, which I think is genius. So if you like the look of this video, I really hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend because all of those things help my channel to grow. So thanks again for joining today and I'll see you at the next video. Bye. It's messy.